Hi guys, I hope you are liking, subscribing, sharing these videos and referring to your friends. Uh, now this uh, sequence, we are uh, doing this oxidation and reduction processes. So we have to learn what is oxidation. Oxidation ka matlab kya hota hai? Oxidation ka hum aise lik sakte hai? Uh, losing electron, okay? Gaining oxygen, losing hydrogen. So there is a name for it. It is called de-electronation. D means removal. Electronation means electronic removal. At the same place, if it is a reduction, reduction is specified as we can say gain of electrons, okay, loss of oxygen and gain of hydrogen. So this is called electronation process or the process in which you are adding electron will be known as reduction. So for example, if you say Na becomes Na plus, so it is Na getting oxidized. But the same moment, if Cl is becoming Cl minus, so it's a reduction for Cl. So these are simple examples. Now we used to discuss a term called oxidation state. Okay, oxidation state is the modern term that we use, and oxidation state is telling you the relative uh, behavior in terms of whether it will be oxidizing or reducing for a given substance. And there are certain rules to define oxidation states. For example. If it is hydrogen, generally it is plus one oxidation state, except in case of hydrides. Okay, so we'll see what is hydride doing. Next thing, if it is a first A member, let's say lithium, sodium, potassium, etc. So in that case, they will show plus one state. Okay, including rubidium, cesium, all. Similarly, if it is second A member, they will show oxidation state of, let's say beryllium. Magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, they will show plus two oxidation state. So let's say we talk about hydride of sodium NaH. So Na is fixed as plus one, so H will get minus one for this case. Hence, it is example of hydride. So except hydride, it is plus one, and whenever we have any molecule which is diatomic or triatomic. Or tetraatomic, tetraatomic, but it is homonuclear. What is homonuclear? Its का मतलब क्या होता है? यानी कि उसका जो nucleus है, वो एक ही चीज को repeat कर रहा हो. जैसे N2, O2, F2, Cl2, Br2, I2, H2, etc. These are all diatomic. Triatomic, for example, O3. Now, like that, water is also triatomic, but water is heteronuclear. It's like you have different members, right? It's not same thing repeated. Tetraatomic, like P4. So, for all these substances, summation of oxidation state is equal to the net charge. If you apply this rule, which is rule number five, so we can say net charge is zero, and there are let's say two members of hydrogen. If both are x plus x, so x will come out zero. Similarly, if it is tetraatomic, let's say there are four members. For each member, the number is X, so x plus x plus x plus x is equal to zero. So individually all are zero. That means for them oxidation state will be taken as zero. Now, if you use these definitions, we can say that one more thing which can define oxidation state is increase in oxidation state is oxidation, and decrease in that is called reduction. So increasing oxidation state is oxidation, and reduction is decrease in that. So if you talk about terms जैसे हम बात करें oxidizing agent, oxidizing agent और oxidizing agent इनकी बात करें, so what is oxidizing agent? These are the compounds which will oxidize other compounds, okay? And in the meanwhile process they will come down. So oxidizing agent will go down in oxidation state, decrease in oxidation state will be observed. Whereas the compound which is reacting with oxidizing agent which is reacting with oxidizing agent will get oxidized okay i'll take one example here kmno4 is an oxidizing agent k2cr2o7 is an oxidizing agent ozone is an oxidizing agent so when you take kmno4 let's say this is plus 7 this can go to mn plus 2 in acidic medium and similarly we observe in basic and neutral medium it goes to 1 and 3 numbers so drop of 1 and 3 is observed so basically this will become plus 6 and this will become plus 4. Whereas in acidic medium there is drop of 5 and this becomes plus 2. K2Cr27 in acidic medium, this shows from plus 6 to plus 3, hence the drop is 3. 
but net drop is for CR2 hence net drop is 6. So these things we will learn once we talk about N factor or valency factor but compounds which are getting oxidized will take the benefit of it since these things are dropping oxidation state that means they are taking electrons. So who is losing electron? The compound which is being oxidized is losing electron. So if Fe plus 2 you take it can go to Fe plus 3 that's an oxidation process. I hope you understood this example. Like that we will see many more examples in upcoming video. Please keep liking, subscribing and sharing. Thank you.